Hello, everyone. This is Sex Talk with Sharonda, and I'm just going to give everybody a chance to log on. Um, I have some good, good, good information for you today. So at this time, you know, I need you to start liking and sharing because, of course, we're trying to get this information out there. So start letting everybody know. It's Sex Talk with Sharonda. It's time. So go ahead, like and share. I'm giving everybody a chance to get in on this before I get started with what we're talking about today because today's topic is almost doesn't count. Almost doesn't count. You can't almost make me come. Either I did or I didn't. Almost doesn't count. Giving everybody a chance to get on. I hope y'all had a wonderful weekend. I had a very full, productive weekend. So, I hope your weekend was just as eventful. And I see everybody starting to get on. Okay. Let me... Oh, I don't want to log out of that. Mm. Log out of it anyway. Because I'm trying to share it on the other page. Because um, my other Facebook is back up and rolling. So, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. We are going to be talking about sexual enhancers and the importance of sexual enhancers and how you don't have to feel bad because you are one of those people who have to use a sexual enhancer. All right, I got it pulled up. That way I can see your questions and comments and so on and so forth. Now, you see I'm working with two tablets today. Trying to get you this information. such thing called Maslow's hierarchy of needs, okay? Um, and a lot of times when I'm talking about sex and the importance of sex and the importance of orgasms, people, especially church folk, and I, I don't get this from, uh, I'm not going to say people of the world, but most of the times when I'm dealing with religious people, they really try to make you feel like sex is um, a desire versus a need, okay? And I want to let you know that that is incorrect information, okay? According to Maslow's hierarchy of needs, you have certain things that your body need, okay? Breathing, food, water, sex, sleep, all on the bottom row of what your body absolutely has to have in order to function. I'm reading this. Breathing, food, water, sex, sleep. Maslow's heart given needs. If you ever went to school and you took a psychology class, then you went over this in your psychology class because this is psychology one-on-one. -on -one. This is the basics. This is the very basics. Sex is down there with food and water. It's, this is with something that your body has to have. That's why I tell people, don't get on children because they body have desires. Because we have been young before too, and our body has desires. So when we're talking about breathing, food, water, sex, we're not talking about the act of sex. Because anybody can get on top of the other person and hump. We're talking about the actual experience, meaning you reached a climax and you had an orgasm and your body was satisfied. Okay? What is the point of us having sex and in the end, I wasn't satisfied? You have to stop allowing people to come into your life and make you feel bad because they didn't please you sexually. It's not your fault that they did not please you sexually and you have to resort to using some type of sexual enhancer in order to get the fulfillment. Don't let nobody make you feel bad about that. Don't let nobody make you feel like you less than a woman or you less than a man because you did not get pleased. 
That's why they have all these products on the market because everybody knows that nobody's genital organs are the same. Meaning, the way mine is shaped is different than the way yours is shaped. That's why people call them flowers because everybody's vulva looks a little bit different. Some people's vulva have discoloration. Some people's vulvas are not all pink and pretty. Some people's vulvas have little dark spots. It don't make it ugly. And, and I, I really want people to understand that because far too often, I deal mostly with women, but some men, people come into my store and they are not being pleased sexually, but they cannot tell the person that they with. You didn't, I, I wasn't satisfied. You didn't hit that spot for me. You didn't stay in that spot long enough for me. You didn't make me reach the type of orgasm that I can make myself reach. You can't feel bad because you know how to please yourself and this person is still learning. Okay? Another thing, even with men, you can't feel bad because she ain't really put it on you that good. Like, and you had to go and, and catch you another round by yourself in the bathroom. Like, you can't make nobody fake. Okay? I'm not going to fake with you. You're going you gonna to do this shit until I'm satisfied. And if it's over, before the ending, guess what? And I got to catch me a second round by myself. I'm going to catch that second round by myself and I'm going to be all right with it. And I ain't trying to make you... As long as you ain't trying to make me feel bad about it, I ain't trying to make you feel bad that I, my body requires more than you can give right now. There's something on the market called orgasmics. And as you can see, I ordered a big tray of it because we sell just that much of it. Orgasmics is a, is a sexual enhancer. Mostly used by women, but it can be used by men too. Okay? If you put orgasmics all over his shaft, He's going to enjoy a tingling, warming, throbbing experience. If you put the orgasmics on your clitoris, your clitoris is going to swell up. All of the blood is going to rush to it. You're going to get the tingling feeling. The woman, now the great thing about orgasmics that I like is it's a gel. So it's not really messy. And another thing that I like about orgasmics is it is tasteless colorless, odorless, okay? Because sometimes I want you to taste me, not necessarily a fruity body topping. I want to know, this is all me right here, okay? All orgasmic does is it makes the clitoris get hard, and I kind of compare it to um, a car. When you start up a car, a woman body is just like a car. You start it up, and the longer it run, the longer it warm up. But once it warm up, it's ready to go. Okay? Orgasmics get you that warming up process a little faster. So that you're ready to go. Okay? So, like I said, again, this video is about making sure that when you're having sex, you're having a sexual experience and that you are actually reaching an orgasm. Because far too often, women have sex and they're not reaching orgasms and they're silent about it. They feel like they can't talk about it and can't discuss it because the person that they're with is going to be offended. If a person tells you that this didn't happen for me, then that lets you know that I got to do something different. It ain't for you to get offended. It's just to give you knowledge that whatever you're doing ain't working for this particular woman that you're dealing with. It might have worked for this other person that you was with, but the woman that you with right now, it ain't working for her. Okay? I hope you all enjoyed this video. Make sure you come by the store. Shop with us today. We are here from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. Um, visit us online at www.thepppgstore.com. And it's on here. If you have any questions, please send them at this time. All right. Looks like I don't have any questions. Make sure I put the address to the store on here. Florida Boulevard. Let me tell you something that I done learned by being in this business. A lot of times people think when a person visits a store like PPG, when people come here, they coming for help. 
It's no different than when they make their doctor's appointment. It's no different. When they come here, they're coming for help. They are trying to get something to happen. So many times a man is willing to be taught how to please her. And that's a really good thing for a man to be open to be taught. Because you have to have sometimes uncomfortable conversations. And she has to tell you when you do this, it don't do nothing for me. But I sit back and I let you do it because it looks like you enjoying it. But it's not pleasing me one way or another. And you have to be able to take that information and not get mad about it. And say, hey, you know what? I ain't going to do it like that. I'm going to come a whole other different direction. I'm going to do it like this. And I'm going to tell you something else because sometimes um, as a woman, myself personally, I don't use toys every time. Now, toys will give me where I'm trying to go a lot faster. And hamsters will give me where I'm going a lot faster. But sometimes I really be wanting to put in work for it. I'm talking about really putting in work. I want to do it all by myself. I don't want to always rely on these things. But what happens if you are never experiencing these certain climaxes that you know that your body can experience? You're going to become sexually frustrated. And you're going to be like, why in the hell am I fucking if I'm not getting the knot of it? Why am I doing this? You don't want to feel like that. Retype your web address, please. Yes. Oh, I got put Vom. Okay, www. Thank you so much. www.theppgstore.com. All right. Yeah, that looks a lot better. That looks a whole lot better. I'm so glad you all enjoyed visiting the store. Um, I tell people all the time, the PPG store is not like your traditional franchise where you come in and every layout, you know, every store is the same. The PPG store has personality, okay? The PPG store makes your experience a fun experience. We want to make sure when you come here to the PPG store that you leave with knowledge. See, for me, when you come in, of course I want you to spend money because that's how I keep my doors open. But more than anything, I want you to leave with a sex-positive attitude. More than anything, I want you to leave feeling like I learned something. I walked away with something that I could share with someone else. I want you to leave with knowledge about whatever subject pertaining to sex that you came in to learn about, okay? Any business wants you to spend money because that's how we stay open. And I love what I do, so I want to be able to continue to do what I love for a living. However, I more so want you to walk away with a whole different mentality when it comes down to sex, okay? All right. So, I don't have any questions at this time. I just want to let you know that this product is completely safe. This product is not going to break you out. It's not going to irritate you. As women say, give you geese. This product is not going to do all of that. See, a lot of times what women don't understand is if you keep having a reoccurring yeast situation, a lot of times the person you have a sex with is carrying the bacteria. And because you're going to the doctor and you're getting treated and they are not going to the doctor and they're not getting treated, they keep recontaminating you. Okay. Let's see. She's 100% right about what she's saying. Don't expect a new man or woman to know your body. It's not what he or she is used to. Don't be afraid to express how and what you like before you get to before you get to the first time. So yes, a conversation needs to happen prior to sex about your desires and what it is that you like. I don't want you to, um, I don't mind the romantic type of thing. Like I like this sometimes, but I want you to, I want you to get, get the business clear. Like I want you to, to fuck me. And that's just about as best as I can say it. Like shit. Put my ass in the head like choke the fuck out of me. Like pinch me, do some shit. I wanna feel every like I wanna feel sensations all over my body. Like for real. But every woman don't wanna be handled like this. Some women, if you do that to them, they gonna feel like, oh my god, I had sex with him and he he was an animal. You know? But a person like me, bring the animal. I want you to bring the animal when you come. But I, yeah, like, but every woman is not the same. Okay, some women really want you to lay out all of the roses and light the candles and rub their feet and rub in their thighs and eat pussy and do this and do that, all to get 
to get out. It takes all of that to get them going. But you got to know that about that person. You got some people that's trying to go like me. I'm, I'm ready to roll. But everybody's not on the level sexually that I'm on. And don't get me wrong. It's not that I don't appreciate the more romantic part because I do appreciate it. However, if you're dealing with a person's preference, that ain't my preference. Like, I don't want you whispering sweet nothings in my ear. I want you to tell me some shit that's going to fuck my whole head up. They had me thinking about it for days. Like, I can't believe he said that. Like, I like to be mind fucked, okay? And you got to know that about the person that you with. What it is that they like and what it is that they desire. And don't make an assumption about what it is that they like and what it is that they desire. And for the people who's just logging on, basically what I was talking about was... How sometimes people try to make you feel bad about sexuality and try to make you feel like you perverted because you always want and desire sex. But sex is on the Maslow's hierarchy of needs down there with food and water and sleep. Okay? You need sex just as much as you need all of those other things. And when I'm talking about sex, I'm not talking about the act of sex. I'm talking about your body has to be satisfied in a way, meaning that you need to be able to have an orgasm. You need to be able to have that sexual satisfaction to where your body's not craving that desire anymore. And if you're having sex and that's not happening for you, then it's just like you didn't do anything at all. Okay? Um, I'm not going to draw this video out. Come by the store. Take advantage of sexual enhancers. And if you notice, I didn't talk about any toys today. Strictly enhancers. As you can see, I didn't re up on orgasmics because when I talked about it um, about a week or so ago, y'all came in here flying. One little young man came in here and got two bottles. I say, goodness, he was like, I didn't even know they still sold it. Yes, it still exists, and we uh, we always have it in stock at the PPG store. It's just a lot of times, once I start talking about a product, so many people come in within uh, the next few hours, and a lot of times they buy us out. But what I'm learning to do is, before I talk about it, to make sure I have enough product on hand to make sure that everybody that wants it can get it, okay? That concludes Sex Talk with Sharonda. I hope uh, someone learned something today. I hope it's worth sharing. Uh, we still have like eight spots for the bike ride. Um, I will be at Ruffins on April the 7th. I'm just trying to make sure I'm addressing everything. Oh, and right before Mother's Day, we're doing the V-Sting party um, with O'Reilly Perkins. And you can go on her page and click the link on my bio and actually contact her uh, facility to pay because that's why I'll be hosting the fun party at, over there at her 